guys this okongobong soup it's the best you will see out there it tasted so delicious it's yummy amazing guys it was so soft juicy succulent everything in there was well incorporated if you want to see how to i did this stay tuned guys the first thing you need your beef and this is my you know farm raised beef you add your no cubes your maggi and i will boil it i'm gonna put my onions in there and my pepper i'm using habanero pepper this is my stock fish i had soaked it in water overnight guys so feel free to omit or add it in there it's up to you guys i added just a pint of salt in it and definitely i'm going in with my water that is my water guys so i'm not putting so much and feel free i have a recipe on how you know i actually you know baked my meat or smoke my meat in the oven if you are going for that you know for that kind of flavor so guys i did this because i got some you know questions about oh must i smoke my meat how am i gonna do if i'm not smoking my meat so this is exactly what i did so guys i am going in there with my egusi guys and i'll blend it like crazy i'm just gonna blend it. i'm not making it super super smooth i'm making it like not coarse either it's just i want it to not be so smooth and fine like paste that's not what i'm going in for i still want some little bit of um grains in there but not too much you know just in between so i'll pour it in there because my blender is not too big it's just medium sizes i'll blend it about two to three times so guys my meat was already ready and my fish was ready when i added this in there mind you my meat when i say my meat is ready or my beef is ready i don't it's not like super tender it's just like almost done because you know the egusi would take time before you know it actually just gets ready so i want my meat to continue cooking with it so i'm adding my white pepper i'm adding my baby in there guys and i'll add my whole cloves in there too so this will take it to the next level you can add your black pepper my maggie crevette because it's tough i'll add it in there and blend it if you did not want to my ginger and garlic definitely guys i lost that footage i added it in there as well so guys ginger and garlic is a must for this too because it takes that aroma to the next level some people use um green onions if you want to use your green onions that's fine if you want to still blend some or more of your fresh uh you know regular onions feel free to do that i blended everything and i added it in there so guys don't put your cooker or your stove too high Put it on medium low not too high not too low just medium and make sure you stir it continuously and repeatedly in fact stir this pot like you're breathing oxygen because you don't want it to get burnt and if it get burnt that's another process that you don't want to have guys this egusi look is all the way from west africa mom you're making this happen God bless you, give you long life because, you know, it's amazing. If you don't know where you can get this egusi, African stores have it, some Asian stores have it. Or if, you know, you don't know where to really get it, why not ask someone back home, you know, to send some for you if you have somebody. So guys, I'll cover the pot because, you know, it's beginning to splash and all of that. And if you notice, you see that some of the egusi, like when I open the pot, you see the soup is beginning to be brown. It's not as white as it was initially when we started cooking guys keep staring right now you want to stare and stare and stare like crazy right now this egusi is not yet cooked it's been boiling or it's been cooking for like 20 minutes so guys um actually i just added water in there like a cup of water so i'm just gonna go ahead and stir it as you see you see that the egusi is becoming thicker and thicker right and if you see it is not as white as it was initially it's like the white color is a little bit dull or getting brown or something like that so guys i'll just you know keep staring and staring it and i'll make sure that that water is like dry a little bit so i'm going to cover that pot and it, it cooked for about 10 more extra minutes 
so guys if you see it after opening the pot you see that it's thick enough the water in there is so little and all of that so just go ahead you know and start you know adding your vegetables so in this in here i have my okongobong it was wet like it was frozen and sent to me over here so i mixed it with my spinach so feel free to add or use only spinach for this feel free to use kale turnip greens or collard greens feel free to use bitter leaf whatever kind of vegetable it is you know that you want to use it with so i'm just adding you know like i said my okongobong in there so i added like a handful of frozen spinach in there feel free to use you know the frozen spinach or you can also use the dried um spinach you can even put little water leaf in here too if you have it that's if at all you will find it guys this still worked fine for me i'm just making sure that you know the vegetable is all over and where it's supposed to be and all of that so guys i'm just staring and staring more than ever before and i'm going to add in the rest of my vegetables guys it's very important that you know when you are doing this like i said make sure that your heat is on medium when you are adding the vegetable know that the leftover water that was in there will cook with this vegetable if you are using dried like very very dried um okongobong or bitter leaf that was dried and sent to you over here i'm adding my crayfish guys make sure that you boil it separate or you soak it overnight for hours so that it becomes soft before using it don't just use it like that so that's what i want you to take note of i'm adding this crayfish this crayfish will elevate you know everything feel free to even use your fresh um shrimp but i'm not going to be using that so guys i'm just gonna go ahead and use it if you want to see a recipe on you know how to actually like use a shrimp or if you have shrimp if you want to use it let me know and i'll do a video on that guys like i said you can add your dry shrimp and your fresh shrimp is up to you do whatever use pork use chicken whatsoever so guys on another you know like a frying pan i'm going to put oil in it and then that's my oil i'm just putting my oil in it and then i'll fry it by now you should notice i don't like using a lot of oil to cook because of calories and all of that but if you are like an oil person you love a lot of oil in your food feel free to add a lot of oil however when you add a lot of oil in you know this vegetable it takes it to another level that's just the truth it will make it softer and all of that but for me i always like to use more egusi and maybe enough vegetables to eat unlike using so much oil feel free to you know add um right now i just tasted like i put one dice of onion in there I want it to have that sizzling sound so I'm just gonna go ahead and put my you know my onions in there and that is a sizzling sound that I really wanted I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it make sure it's not burning and I'll add my green onions if you have your peppers if you did not put it initially like I did you can add it in here if you have um, you can add um, if you have your ginger and garlic paste you can add it here if you do not cook it it will still taste really good guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and stir it very very well and i'll add my little like maggi cube in there or no cubes beyond cubes whatever kind of seasoning you have add it in there guys and it will take it to another level and this is my pot in there i'll just pour my mixture right in there guys as simple as that this is the recipe simple straight to amazing guys stir it really really good and that's it so if you were using your fresh shrimp guys you should have added it in that mixture fried it really good and that's it like i said i don't want so much oil in there i don't like eating so much oil so guys this is the recipe easy straight to the point this meal tasted so delicious you can eat it eat it rather with your of, of ripe plantains you can fry the plantains like dodo you eat it with you can eat it with white yams anything <clears throat> excuse me you can even eat it with um like fufu some people choose to eat with gary and all of that and this tasted amazing until next time it's bella